Hello and welcome to our uh, US market update. It's been a uh, mixed start for uh, equities on Wall Street. Uh, they open uh, a little bit up on a couple of the indices, a couple of, a little bit down on the other. Um, so a mixed bag. Uh, European markets have been off uh, sharply higher this morning as stagflation fears really did the rounds. Banks uh, uh, diving, the euro stocks, uh, banks index down heavily again after dropping by about 19% last week alone. Uh, we saw the DAX off about 4% and uh, the uh, the CAC uh, as well, similar lesser level stocks, 50 also, so uh, uh, that kind of region all have been sold off about 10% last week. So the selling building, crude oil prices have uh, spiked, uh, we saw Brent at 139. Closing that gap a bit though, I think it looks like the Germans might be wavering in terms of that sort of energy embargo story, so it sounds that the Germans are not that keen, we sort of knew that that was likely anyway, just too much natural gas coming from Russia. So if they don't really get behind any embargo, then then that story might not have, have the legs that, uh, that that are required to keep crude prices higher, but nonetheless, a lot of self-sanctioning going on and lots of problems for the oil market in general. And uh, traders now betting that it could be hitting $200 uh, a barrel this month uh, when you look at some of the options uh, market pricing that we're seeing. So lots going on out there. We've also seen that gas about $5. Uh, a cold snap in the US coming, those US natural gas futures not really affected by the situation in Russia to any real extent, there is a bit of a read across but not, not an awful lot. European gas prices are uh, soaring at all time highs uh, and we've seen big gains for the likes of wheat and palladium as well after solid progress last week. So that's it for the moment, we'll try and bring you some more updates later.